Hello and welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing a video on the Louis Vuitton Papillon uh, 30, um, which is a vintage bag that I bought from eBay. So I'm going to just talk you through sort of um, the best ways to go about shopping for designer goods on eBay because you do not want to end up buying a fake. It's vintage so they have the old um, style dust bag and opening it up. This is what it looks like. I absolutely love the silhouette. This is the classic bowling bag shape. I have a different um, bowling bag, a Gucci one, that I actually bought from eBay as well. If anybody would like um, a video on that, I can do a video on that one as well because the buying process was a bit different for that one. This one I've seen for a while um, and I was looking on Vestiaire a lot um, and I thought if I look on eBay, I would probably get a better deal. So I was searching on eBay, but as I said, you can't be certain that they're going to be real. Um, so my biggest tip for buying on eBay is, and I'll just pull out the cards. So everybody knows that Louis Vuitton don't have authenticity cards, um, but this came from a company that sell pre-owned luxury goods. So this company is based in Greece. Um, it's called My Good Closet. I had a really good experience with them. And that's my biggest tip is, find sellers on eBay that have their own boutiques and the same for Vestia. Um, a lot of the time for Vestia, if you find a seller on there that have their own website, it will be cheaper to go onto their website and buy from them. Um, so I did check whether it'd be cheaper to go onto the website and buy or buy from eBay. And it actually worked out that it was cheaper to buy uh, on eBay. And also you have eBay protection. Um, so it's just a lot better to buy on eBay. But with that you can be a lot more certain that what you're getting is a real product. Obviously the leather is patinaed because it's a vintage piece but it's in very good condition um, and it does it fits a hell of a lot. It's sort of a Mary Poppins bag. Um, I would 100% recommend this style if you're interested in it. I would recommend going through eBay as long as you can find a seller who has their own sort of boutique. Personally I would be far less willing to buy from a private seller um, unless I would say the biggest tip that I would have is if you go on obviously reviews um, but if you go into their store and they have a lot of different items that are only one item each you go into somebody's page and they have say five of each item then that's a little bit suspicious so I'd say always look out for people who have a varied collection so they're more likely to be people who are actually selling their older stuff the quality is really great and there's some signs of wear and tear here and there but nothing too crazy this was 340 which I am very happy with considering the um, quality and condition. This bag I use it a lot, it goes with a lot of things um, and I used it a lot in the autumn um, for going to the supermarket and going on walks because everything's closed um, or everything was closed rather. It's still, everything is still closed but yes I would definitely recommend this bag if you are looking into buying it and as I said um, just keep an eye out on the sellers that have their own boutiques um, and try and buy from them because you're far more guaranteed to get something that is real. With Louis Vuitton you can always go into the store and get it authenticated I believe um, once the stores reopen. So that's the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!